Scene one, Apple take two. A new era has begun. The new movie has new cars, new robots. I continue to be in awe of all those beautiful cars. Everything that I see looks absolutely amazing. I think we just found a transformer. One of the things that we always do is give the vehicles facelift. On this movie, Optimus got a complete overhaul. So he's a brand new vehicle altogether this time. Everything you're seeing from the hood to the grill to the bumper is all custom. It makes it a very mean, but also very recognizable character. Bumblebee is also redesigned. We took a Chevrolet Camaro Super Sport. We took the whole front end off of it. We cut the whole back end off of it. The rear end is much wider and much more aggressive. And then the hood, the roof, and the back all get stripes. And the whole vehicle in general is a lot more aggressive from a styling standpoint. But then all the cars, like the Bugatti and the Pagani, I mean, they're really amazing, beautiful works of art. This is $2 million. We have a green Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. I like the new Lamborghini. Oh, that's a good shot. It looks like a shark, and it's just crazy. Our cars are characters. They are the Autobots. You really believe that they're going to transform in front of your eyes. I, it's just mind-blowing. A Michael Bay film. Hey everyone, what's happening? Lisa here with another Hollywood update. With just six months until Paddington is released on Christmas Day, Colin Firth, who was set to voice the title character, has parted ways with the live action CGI hybrid project. Next up, Warner Brothers is in the early stages of crafting a Scooby Doo reboot for the big screen, with the studio hiring Randall Green to write the screenplay. It isn't known at this stage if the reboot will be live action or animated. Does anyone really care? <laughs> That's it for today. Subscribe to keep up to date and remember, revenge is a dish best served cold. See you next time.